There is no place like home, but only with a garden home. All the way up in the cold, where it's very nice and cold. There's a jolly old man who looks like a banana, and his name is Talking Santa. Talking, talking, talking. Santa, Santa, Santa. All you naughty haters, beware. Talking, talking, talking. Santa, Santa, Santa. You naughty ass haters, better beware. And he's not messing around. Ho, 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 everybody. Welcome to the most hated stuff. I'm Talking Santa, your host for today. You may remember me from those little Santa Hates mini rants where I discuss the subject of my hatred, but today I will be doing a commentary on another commentary video made by a user named Macboy Redux. Now Macboy Redux, just like that Mr. Douchebag Dirtbike guy, made a commentary on David the Ranter's second commentary. However, after both commentaries were watched by me, I noticed the shocking similarity between the two videos. I noticed that both Macboy and Douchebag have mostly the same exact testimonies in each of their commentaries. Man, this is going to be really fucking rough. As you may notice, this will be the first commentary that is not done by David the Ranter, but uploaded by the Most Hated Stuff. In other words, this is the first Most Hated Stuff commentary done by someone other than David. I will be doing this alone as well. David did not hire me, otherwise that would make him look like a big hypocrite. Now, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Hello everyone, this is Macboy Redux with another commentary. One day, w during a Skype chat, we were talking about a video that's actually po that we were wondering was worth commentating on. A really bad video by a user who goes by the name of Most Hated Stuff. Well, considering that Half Wild Hero brought it up, I wonder how bad it could be. Oh my god! 42 minutes for a commentary? Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Who the hell cares? And no, we're not kidding you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen some pretty long commentaries, but as you know, they were actually good. They were entertaining as well as informative. This... Th this video is a disaster. I think you should be a little more specific with that point you just made. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean others don't. This is not a unanimous vote, you know. I should also point out that this is going to be a 6th degree commentary. Yes, a 6th degree. Then, to avoid confusion since the guy, one of them is pretty much responding, I'm going to put the number of each dimension in the bottom right corner. Oh, and I should probably mention that if you do not see a number at the bottom right of the screen, that's how you know it's my part of the commentary, even though this would make me to mention number 8. So, let's get started with this mess. Greetings people of YouTube, welcome to the most hated stuff. Oh joy, another Spiaconia commentary. This won't get annoying very quick. Can I ask you something? Why the hell do you want to bash Spiconia so much? The argument is so cliche, just let it go. This is David the Renter, back with another I hate commentary. Although I originally did not plan on doing another commentary for a while and had anticipated on doing my first ever I hate rent video, I just recently discovered a commentary that someone did on my previous commentary video. And I'd have to say, my commentary video to him was like a very long book that this guy had major difficulty reading. Because at some parts in the video, he acts like a complete retard at some of the most simplest points. Actually, I think it's the other way around. Yeah, says you, but that don't mean it's true. If you don't believe me, just wait until you see the video. Now for this commentary, I will be doing it with a partner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Uncle Hammer. Hello folks, how are you all doing? Ah, so both commentary subjects are responding in this video. Yeah, this won't reek of butthurt at all, will it? Can you define butthurt for me? Uh, 
Hey, what the fuck, man? You trying to half-ass the goddamn video? I should probably mention that in addition to this guy complaining over the fact that David's commentary on Modern Day was 42 minutes long, he skips a lot, and I mean a lot, during this commentary video. Just like Mr. Douchebag and all the other commentators like Modern Dave. Hello and welcome to a commentary. I'm your host, Martin Dave. Man, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's only been a few months for me. So how long has it been for you? I don't know. About a month when the video was originally uploaded. Rule number 67 in the guide to commentating, monotone or not, learn how to take a joke. And besides, David the Ranter's commentary video on Modern Dave was uploaded four months after Modern Dave's initial video. Now originally I was going to do another video that I had in mind on commentating on, but I decided it's not worth it. Sounds very similar to my situation that I stated earlier about me originally wanting to do some hatred rent videos before making another commentary. So I guess that makes us a little bit even. Kind of a pointless statement, don't you think? Would you mind elaborating on how it's a pointless statement, please? Because I don't think that statement was pointless at all. Uh, Pitterox56 requested for me to do. Let me guess, was Pitrox56 too much of a pussy to make a commentary on his own that he had to ask someone else to do one for him? Wow, I can't believe this shit. Pitrox56 had the balls to do a commentary on one of my commentary videos. But then when you did a commentary on his commentary and Pitrox56 wanted to respond to it, he tried to check it out and thought he could get away with it by hiring Modern Dave to do the response commentary instead of Pitrox doing it himself. What a fucking coward! Seriously, I'm really starting to believe Pitrox56 is nothing but a fucking coward! A big fucking hit and run coward! Or maybe, just maybe, he just didn't have the patience to sit through that whole video and respond to it, especially considering how freaking long it is. Well, if someone doesn't have the time or patience to do a commentary on their own, regardless of how long the video is, then they shouldn't even bother with the subject and ask other people to do their dirty work for them. It's just not right. Again, with the video skips, and he's not even close to being done with them. He is going to be skipping parts in this video a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot more than just two. Just a common symptom of disbelief in making long videos. Like, I'm sure that someone watching this video right now is going to complain about the length of how long this video is, but let me tell you, I don't care, and anybody who complains is getting cold. End of story. Hello everybody on YouTube, welcome to the most hated stuff. My name is David, more professionally, David the Renter. I am the official avatar for the most hated stuff's videos. I will be the one discussing all of the controversial topics concerning the everyday things in life that I really hate the most. And instead of using my own voice, I will be going in the futuristic direction by portraying my voice using Speakonia. Speakonia, the way of the future. That has been around since 1995. What I meant in that statement about my voice was, because Speakonia and other forms of speech text sounds computerized and can state whatever words you type in, it's as if it seems futuristic. Jokes? What are those? Just take a look at Rule 67 in the Guide to Commentating. That should help you out. Uh-oh, that's strike three. Well, Mac Boy, looks like you won't be getting any presents for Christmas this year. I originally did not want to do this at all. But since it is so hilarious that it would make you piss your pants. 
You mean like this? I'm sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? And if you really thought the video was hilarious, that should mean it was good, right? So if I say that knowing is so bad it's funny, which it is, that means I think it's actually good? Apparently this guy has never heard of camp before. Besides, if something is funny, that doesn't mean that it's good or has problems. Hell, I find Billy Madison funny, but that doesn't mean I think it's a good movie. Looks like you failed to recognize my sarcasm overall in that sentence. But I guess I'm not too surprised about it since I'm using Steakonia, where I don't really expect my sarcasm to be all that great. I really wish Steakonia had a sarcasm mode for the voices. Yeah, me too. You could have pointed out that you were being sarcastic, or better yet, not even use Speakonia and actually use your microphone. Hmm, where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, Mr. Douchebag. I'm sorry, but I don't care what excuse you use. It, Speakonia is a terrible tool to use for commentaries. Yes, that may be your opinion, and at least you have a fair, legitimate argument for your opinion. But Mac Boy, I don't think the most hated stuff is going to give up easily on using Speakonia for David the Ranter's voice. So I would best recommend that you just drop the whole argument whatsoever and let David deal with it himself. If they want to use Speakonia for the Ranter voices, then that's their dealings, and that's their problems if you consider it problems, okay? Well, that was pretty ironic. Yeah, that's about as ironic as Rain on Your Reading Day. P.S. It's not. What the fuck is this? Who does this guy think he is a fucking cheater? And why the hell should it matter if the video is 40 minutes long? Yeah, that is such bullshit. Well, let's look at the reasons why we tend to skip certain parts of a video when we commentate on it. There's the fact that we might not be able to say something on a certain part, and therefore, leaving it in would drag out the video, so we tend to cut that out. Uh, that would make you a coward, and a true commentator should know better. Or, it could, there's redundancy by constantly repeating a point, so there's no reason to include that. Or maybe there's even the simple fact that you tend to drag out your points. Like me and David the Ranter have said, there is no fucking excuse. It is not a good idea to cut out any parts of a video during a commentary. Doesn't matter whether or not they drag out long or whatever the fuck reason. P.S. You need to watch my, my mini rant on people bitching about long ass commentaries. Well, why I hate it. Which kind of leads into the next point, the length. People won't care if the video's really long, as long as there's an attempt to entertain and it's informative. Nobody wants to watch an overly long video if it's boring or just completely redundant. Aha! What you just said right there is living proof that Mr. Douchebag completely copied off your video, considering the fact that your video was uploaded before his. Wow, way to plagiarize your commentary, Mr. Douchebag. Anyway, to both you and Mr. Douchebag, all I have to say is, you need to tell the difference between your facts and your opinions. I mean, dead on facts and your opinions, of course. Even if it's not just your opinion, this doesn't make it a unanimous vote. Opinions. It was almost as if it was right in the middle of all the critic reviews. Some people thought it was okay, others thought it was not good. Cause there are actually commentaries on YouTube that are a lot worse than the one made by the Uncle Hammer. One, what was the point of that? All you did was add to what Pinrock said. There really was no point in what you just said. Two, I'm pretty sure Pinrock's knows there are commentaries worse than the one he's doing. A genius. Genius. Really, dude? 
If Kid Rocks knows that there are worse commentaries out there, then why the hell would he be calling the Uncle Hammer's commentary incredibly awful? I never even heard him say something like, but at least this commentary isn't as bad as this other guy's commentary. Is it really necessary to do? There's really no reason to go, this commentary was bad, but at least he's not as bad as this guy. It's rather pointless. No, you fucking motherfucker face. It is not rather pointless. Terox56 was not presenting any evidence that he had some sort of knowledge on there being commentaries worse than the Uncle Hammer second commentary. Well, this is something new. I would have expected to see Waffle the Cat dancing during the skip screen. Either way, I really hate the fact that there's a skip screen there. What the fuck? Again. Not enough time! I just don't know. I... I really hope I'm dreaming about the mixed ratings. I really hope I'm dreaming. Nope, you are not dreaming at all. You are definitely wide awake. I know I am. I cut this part out of the video, but in the beginning he said that Pedrox takes most of the things the wrong way. Yet, you're taking that the wrong way. Unless if you're joking, which A, isn't funny, and B, there was no build-up for that joke to work. Yes, that was a joke. And I wasn't taking anything the wrong way here. Also, there absolutely was a build-up for that joke to work. The build-up was when Pit Rocks said that he hoped he was dreaming about the fact that the Uncle Hammer's commentary video had mixed reception. And as I stated before, Speakonia doesn't have a sarcasm mode for the voices. But I really wish they did though. That still doesn't change the fact that that joke was actually pretty pointless. Not going to elaborate, huh? Were you drunk when you made this video? Just in case you weren't paying attention or anything, David clearly pointed out his reason as to why there was a build-up for that joke. So yeah, that joke was not pointless at all. Second, why does it matter whether or not he used Speakonia for his voiceover rather than using his real voice? Well, A, it's annoying, and B, Speakonia isn't the best tool to use to convey emotions since it's coming from an app on your computer, and it isn't your voice, so people are left confused whether or not you are serious. Well, I beg to differ on that statement. And yet, you don't even explain why. Yeah, just like on that last statement, you didn't explain why it was a fact that David's joke was pointless, even though he had already proved you wrong by explaining the joke's build-up. What a hypocrisy, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Uncle Hammer, back with another commentary. Today, I will be doing a commentary on the Ben Rips video about modern films. This video was uploaded by Tuffy Zooey before, also known as the Ben Malooney Throwback Channel, which contains all of Ben Malooney's old videos from 2007 to 2011. Wait, you know that... His rant on modern films was old, an old rant? Of course he knew it was an old rant. Every video on YouTube shows the date it was uploaded right above the video description. Why thank you for explaining what most people with a fucking brain already knows. Well in that case, going by what you just stated, I guess this means Pit Rocks 56 doesn't have a fucking brain. Because if he has a brain, then why the hell would he even be surprised or shocked that the Uncle Hammer knew the video he was commentating on was uploaded two years earlier? Yeah, except that wasn't even the point he was trying to make. He was just essentially saying that Uncle Hammer was pointing out the obvious. It's only obvious to those who already know, but those who've never heard of Ben the Looney, it's actually pretty helpful information. It's statements like these that make me wonder if you're just a troll. Newsflash, asshole. A troll is a mythical creature. I mean, elves are real, I know that, but I don't know about trolls. So, how can a creature that lives under a bridge make spamful information like that? Why don't you tell us about the ABCs? If you knew that was an old rant, then why are you commentating on the goddamn video? You know, commentating on old videos to me is just ridiculous and unnecessary.
It may be pointless and unnecessary to you, but it obviously meant a purpose to the Uncle Hammer. As I said before, this is a guy that apparently doesn't give a fuck about the video's age. If he believes the video is flawed enough, he will commentate on it regardless of how old that video is. But if the video is old, then why commentate on it? What if the video is overdone? What if everything is brought up about the user and other commentaries on different videos that makes the commentary pointless to begin with? What if the user changed their views on the subject? What if the drama about said incident has ended? Do you see where I'm going with it? Oh, I see where you're going with all of this. And you're lucky you're not going to hell. But anyway, none of those possibility factors you stated had occurred regarding the subject of the video. What do you think, Uncle Hammer? What purpose did this old rent have that made doing a commentary on this video worth it? Well, I figured it would be like a blast from the past. Something that should have been already done before. And as I once mentioned it prior to my commentary, for two whole years, no one on YouTube had ever done a commentary on this particular Nedrimps video. And I will admit that I didn't even know about the video's existence until about a year ago. Also, I am sick and tired of people bitching about Ben Baloney being a dead topic. Cause he's not. As long as the video still remains, and as long as people are still posting comments on the video, then the topic is considered alive and well. Cause it's not like the drama about the subject has ended. Those are terrible reasons to consider a topic to be still relevant. Just because some people are still posting comments and the video is still up, doesn't make it relevant. The, when people say someone is a dead topic, it pretty much means that everything you can say has already been said. There's nothing new you can bring to the table. But if that's the case, then why didn't anybody already make a commentary video on the particular Ben Rant's video Uncle Hammer did long before he made the commentary? Also, can you point out everything the Uncle Hammer says that had already been said by other people? Otherwise, you have no evidence. That's why people like Irie Gamer and Joshua8428 are considered dead horses, because everything that has already been said. We know that Irie Gamer can't play games. We know he cheats. We know that Joshua can't handle criticism or knows how to commentate. There's really no point to keep rehashing it over and over and over and over. Well, I just hope the Uncle Hammer can accept your constructive criticism. <laughs> and I know I'm a bit guilty of this with Boris, Ace Alieri, and John Mullis, but let me explain myself. In the case of Boris, he just seemed to be one of those exceptions at that time, and plus, I wasn't an active member of the commentary community. I didn't really know what the quote-unquote guidelines were. In the case of Ace Alieri and John Mullis, though, well, for one thing, neither of them were completely overdone at that time. I mean, Ace only around that time was Ace starting to get, get exposed, and John Mullis ended up disabling the comments, and no one else commentated on his video. And plus, they weren't nearly as outdated as Ben's video. So, I think I have more of an excuse than you, Uncle Hammer. Would you mind sending me a link to those videos you just mentioned? I would really appreciate it, and I'm actually being dead serious. Especially when you're commentating on a very huge bandwagon in the commentary community. So, this video right here was just pointless. In his rant about modern films, he once again shows us exactly how biased he can be. Although this video is two years old and probably a little outdated, I still thought it would be a good idea to do a commentary on this one. You see, Pip Rocks, this proves my point that I am trying to make to you. He said loud and clearly that he still thought it would be a good idea to do this commentary, despite the fact that he was doing it on an old rant. I don't know exactly why, but that's just his own opinion. Well, if you don't agree with what he does, then why defend him? Who's to say I don't agree with what the Uncle Hammer does? Cause I never said anything like that. I'm saying gosh you didn't, you son of a Welcome bitch. Welcome back to Ben Rants, and when I was a kid, there was a light on at the Frankenstein place. What I've got here is the Frankenstein place. I would really like to know, and why are there no lights there? You do know that was supposed to be a joke, right? Well, either he was trying to respond to that by making his own joke, or he just didn't know that it was supposed to be a joke.
In other words, you've proved Pred Rock's right, and you really didn't need to say anything. I was actually being serious when I asked about the Frankenstein place, because I had never heard of it before. Though I did try to throw in just a tiny bit of humor in that statement. So, Modern Dave, you're on. Um, I'm sorry, but how does this make sense? You were being serious, yet you added in a bit of you. Uh, I don't know. It. I think that's just poorly worded. I thought you said commentaries were supposed to be informative and entertaining. And at least that's what the Uncle Hammer was trying to do. Is this bastard really in such a hurry? As I said earlier, we like to avoid the video dragging out. Speaking of which... You have been a naughty boy. That's it. You're getting coal for Christmas this year. Next time, just refer to what I said earlier, and maybe next year you won't have this problem. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta get drunk. Even though Ben doesn't like some stuff that are considered a classic by some people. Besides, you missed the point. Most modern films are of today have unoriginality, bad music, bad comp bad humor, bad everything. Even though some modern films have originality and other stuff, but most modern films. The key word being most have bad humor, unoriginality, and stuff that don't make any sense at all. That will make you hate it. So that's the point of this rant, I believe. Dude, that is your opinion. His opinion on this was probably somewhat different. Okay, you are half right. Keywords being half. I'm pretty sure that Pit Rocks knows that what Uncle Hammer says was his opinion. I can't believe how much of a fucking idiot this guy is! If Pitrox knows it was his own opinion, then why would he be saying that as if it's some other fucking fact? You really need to go and get educated. Just because it's an opinion doesn't mean that it can't have flaws with it. Yes, true, very true. I mean, you s most of you seen my Jenna Marbles video. A lot of that stuff was her opinion, but I was still able to point out faults with her reasoning. Oh, look at that. Now there's a part where MacBoy includes more information during a skip screen. At least he's being specific and calling David by his name. Day. Not, not every comedy film. Well, he probably took that as Ben, saying that comedy is a stupid movie genre. If you watched this video at least five times and paid close attention to it, you would know that Ben wasn't being specific enough about that part. No, the two of you misunderstood that. What Uncle Hammer said is, was that Ben not liking comedies of the day is a bad sign. Payrox misunderstood that, thinking that Uncle Hammer thought that Ben says that old comedy sucks. Were you even paying attention? Because that was a pretty obvious problem with his, with Payrox's video. Well, actually, the Uncle Hammer was pretty much believing that Ben felt like he wanted to tear apart the entire comedy film genre. Pit Rocks was pretty much the only one that misunderstood at this part. Don't you think it would have been better if Uncle Hammer acknowledged this so we know that this is actually true? Aha! I knew you were going to say that. That was a very predictable move that I saw coming. But anyway, the Uncle Hammer already repeated those exact words in David the Rancher's most recent commentary. My god, this is worse than all those audio skips that Ben the Looney once had in his videos. I'm about to lose my cool here. Boo hoo, he's cutting out parts of the video. Get over it.
You know what? Why don't you just shut your motherfucking fuck face up? We don't need to repeat ourselves again about the skip screens. Again, if somebody doesn't like the comedy films that have quote-unquote hilarious parody moments from modern films, then guess what? It's their opinion, whether you like it or not. First of all, he obviously thought Ben Mulroney was speaking from fact rather than just his own opinions, since he had a known history of doing that. Second, when you said that it's their opinion whether he likes it or not, you were telling the Uncle Hammer something he already knew about. You mean like how you said that there are worse commentaries than the one Uncle Hammer did even though Pit Rocks already knows that? Pit Rocks has proven to us that he does not know that. If he fucking knew that shit, he wouldn't have said most of the stuff he said about the Uncle Hammer's video. Trust me, I know. You dumbass. So pretty much what you're implying is if he knew that the com there were worse commentaries than Uncle Hammer's, then the commentary should have been sugarcoated. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Just because there are other bad commentaries doesn't mean you can't be harsh with this commentary as well. But that's not the point he was trying to make. He believed that there was a flaw present and he was just trying to help out with that flaw. Also, this is probably the first time today that I've actually heard you drop the F-bomb. If you are using the opinion card, you really need to keep that in mind. Well, what did I tell you about using a media clip to a 20-year-old? You, you go into your room right now. I'll... I'll just feed the cows myself, since you use a media clip in front of a 20-year-old cow. Now go into your room now, you son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are, a retarded Texan? But I will admit that joke was actually pretty funny, even though it didn't even make any sense. Actually, yeah, it does. Ben's a little cow, Uncle Hammer is a moron that feeds little cows, and Pitrox is a father that scolds the moron son. I'm sorry, asshole, but I had never heard of that joke when I made this commentary. Well, at least I've heard of the joke! I'm sorry, but how does this debunk Modern Dave's point? It debunks Modern Dave's point because Modern Dave acted like it was an obvious joke, and yet David the Ranter had no idea that there was a joke present, even though it's meant for sarcasm. And what I meant was, because David the Rancher didn't recognize Pit Rocks 56's joke, he had no idea what he was trying to do exactly. And refer to what I said earlier, as I am not going to repeat myself yet again. However, there's some other things about movies that I can't stand that I want must address. First, I'll start with the fact that we have too many remakes. I said it before, and I'll say it again. If you can't think of an idea on your own, then you shouldn't be making films. Wrong, 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 wrong. And there was Refer the horror to that what is I said as Oscars. I am not repeating myself My yet gosh, I hate again. The For one oh yeah? Well, refer to what I said earlier, as I am not repeating myself either. Well, here is what he said earlier. Whoa! God damn! That part with Ben raising his voice scared the shit out of me. No, you dumbass! That's not what I was talking about. I was telling Pit Rocks to refer to what I said earlier about how he should just let the Uncle Hammer use the media clip he wanted to use. Despite the fact that it was not his original joke and had been done many times before. Well, I know that's what you were talking about. I think Modern Dave actually kind of explains it with this next statement. And that, folks, is why you should clarify things. Keep in mind that, I'm just assuming here, but I think Modern Dave was essentially saying that you weren't specific which point you wanted Pit Rocks to refer to. Come on, let's be serious now. There's a huge difference between a point and an emotion. Because it's not fair that certain movies get awards because
because it's judged by a... Maybe if you let him finish talking as of why he thinks the Oscars are not needed, then you can shut the hell up and s stop telling Ben why, why. Could you elaborate, 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 elaborate? Because that just, to me, gets annoying. Okay, but how do you know whether or not if he grew, watched that part before saying that? Cause maybe he already did, but felt like he didn't get enough information out of it. But here's the thing, if Ben does explain why the Oscars are bad, that would make Uncle Hammer's argument null and void, and if Uncle Hammer did know that Ben elaborated, then what he said was pointless. You're bad, White Knighter, you know that? Well, sadly, Ben did not elaborate on why the Oscars were not needed. Otherwise, I wouldn't have asked him why. Oh, really? My gosh, I hate the Oscars. For Deja vu. Hmm. For those of you that don't know, Mr. Douchebag eventually did the same exact thing that uh, Mac Boy is doing right now in his video. That, of course, is because Mr. Douchebag is a fucking copycat. One thing, they really shouldn't be needed because it's not fair that certain movies get awards because it's judged by an academy of people that think they know what they're doing. That's not fair because that's just their opinion. Just because you think it's the best doesn't mean others might think that. Heck, a lot of movies that have won Oscars, I've hated. And I'm not the only one. Plus, a lot of times awards are given to movies that haven't even been seen by the public yet. I don't see how that's fair. You give the best picture award to a movie, but nobody knows what it is. That's real smart. Plus, the Oscars must have lost a card game with Pixar to have them dominating the animated scene. Not to mention, after awards are given to movies, nobody cares because they're looking forward to next year's nomination. In my opinion, Oscars are just used to give publicity to movies that the Academy feels that we should see. Well, screw you, Academy. I'll watch whatever movies I'm interested in. Yeah, try paying attention next time. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I barely got anything from Ben out of that elaboration attempt. So you know what, Uncle Hammer? I don't blame you. That was weird. You know, I'm starting to think that you're becoming the next Foxtrot Delta Lima 497 by saying, Could you elaborate, 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 elaborate? It's ridiculous. At least Foxtrot Delta Lima 497 used to be good at commentaries, in my opinion, but now he sucks at them. Even though he retired from commentaries, but still, he, even though he retired, his new commentaries, even to this day, still sucks ass. In fact, I think you're even worse than him. I never even heard of that guy. Since I don't know him, I have no idea exactly how bad something could possibly be if it's worse than his work. Well, if you don't know the guy, then why don't you look him up? It's simple as that! Not if he has such a long ass username that's very hard to even remember. By the way, this is who I was talking about earlier in the video. Yeah, th that's a pretty lame excuse for you not to look up Foxtrot. Yeah, you know what? I don't blame David the Rancher because that account name does sound like pretty much a big mouthful. So anybody with common sense would be able to signal that. Like, that name could never stick to my brain, no matter how hard I try. I keep punching in the wrong name. I'm really starting to wonder if this guy's really just a troll. I'm really starting to wonder if you even believe in trolls. Have you got enough time? Well, you know what they say. Any pathetic skip means that it's time to take a nice, satisfying sip. How about another one? Ah, that felt great. I think I'm so hammered up this commentary. We are done. Folks, what can I say? Okay, I'm gonna...
gonna say it. This commentary is awful. Incredibly, incredibly awful. Incredibly awful. Dude, I've seen videos a hundred times worse than this one. It couldn't possibly be that bad. You know, for somebody that uses the opinion card, you really don't keep that in mind. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you're being a hypocrite. Simple as that. Ha <laughs> ha, it is to laugh. And I'm stopping the video there. Trust me, you're missing nothing. You liar! You fucking motherfuck face! Why you gotta give up so easily and lie right to the audience's face? Well, what else is there to say? It was a very horrible commentary with really poorly done point. I mean, it was so bad to the point where I'm wondering if these guys are legit. I mean, like I said, for all I know, these guys could be trolls. Okay, one, don't hide the fact that it's just in your opinion that this is a very horrible commentary. Sure, other people may have the same opinion, but this is not a unanimous vote, like I said. And two, could you please stop calling these guys mythical creatures? It's really getting on my nerves, and I don't understand it at all. Uh, oh well, this is MacBoy Redux signing off. And that's the end of the video. Overall, I'd have to say that this was a pretty bizarre kind of commentary for MacBoy Redux. I mean, sure, he tries to legitimately express his opinions, but the thing is, he fails to tell the difference between his opinions and facts. And considering that this was in response to uh, David Duranta and the Uncle Hammer commentary, it seems more like a debate than a commentary. In my opinion, him making the commentary was kind of pointless. Sorry, Mac boy. Now, I apologize for this video being more than 40 minutes long, but hey, I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Better than David's commentary, I should say. And at least you got to see me in the video for more than just 50 seconds, like in my mini rants. I guess the thing that I hated about this commentary was just some of the reasoning and having to deal with them. But anyway, I just hope that I'll never have to run into this ever again. No problem. Anyway, this is Talking Santa. I'm signing out. I'll talk to you later.